Sophie Harmon, and today I'm going to be talking about Instagram's contribution to teenage girls' self-esteem. Now, all of us in this room have grown up in a generation where social media is a significant part of most people's lives. Platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat allow us to communicate with our friends as well as meet new ones. So because I'm just focusing on Instagram today, I'll explain a little bit about that platform for those of you who may not know. Instagram is an image-based platform where people can post photos that are open to comments and likes by others who view it. This poll from 2016 makes it clear that Instagram is the most used platform for 76% of teenagers between ages 13 to 17. While there are many positive aspects to Instagram, the negative aspects are extremely significant as well. Instagram is a base for adolescent girls to become obsessed with how they're viewed from an outside perspective, as they're constantly being judged. Instagram allows for young girls to alter their image and compare themselves to others. The first key issue that I researched was Photoshop on Instagram and the fakeness of Instagram profiles. What I mean by fakeness is that everyone only posts the most glorified parts of their lives, leaving out anything that would provoke peer judgment. The most popular Photoshop app used by teenagers on Instagram is called Facetune. Fa girls tend to use Facetune to make themselves look thinner or have clearer skin in the photos that they post. This can be extremely detrimental to viewers' self-satisfaction if they don't live up to standards set by these edited photos. Journalist Rebecca Jennings from Vox Magazine said it can be severely toxic, especially for younger people who try to emulate influencers. It's made editing accessible for anyone. And in the untrained eyes, someone who may not see the curvy walls or messed up fence, all they see is a body wall. Now, another journalist for KQED, Sarah Kendrick, tried it out for herself, which is shown in this photo. Some might say that this isn't problematic if you're just covering up something small, like a pimple. Now, I'm going to counter that by saying that even if you're covering something like a pimple, your self-satisfaction will still go down when you realize that it's still there in real life. This this leads me to my connection to the stimulus packet. The source that I chose was to Android Stream of Electric Sheets by Philip Dick. In this post-apocalyptic, futuristic society, it is a symbol of high status to own and take care of an animal. The main character of the story wasn't able to afford a real sheep, so he bought a fake one in order to show his peers that he had that high status. This is similar to how people portray themselves on social media, making sure they achieve perfection and meet social standards. The second perspective that I researched was Instagram influencers. Um, Instagram influencers are people who created a fan base or an audience based off what they post on Instagram. There are influencers across multiple different social media platforms and some are even on multiple at the same time. An example that you guys might know of is a girl named Emma Chamberlain. She became famous from her YouTube videos and is now popular on all social media sites including Instagram. Teenagers tend to emulate what influencers do such as their actions, and their habits. For example, girls will now wear scrunchies or drink ice almond milk vanilla lattes just because that's what Emma Chamberlain did in her videos. I specifically looked at health and fitness influencers. These are people who devote their pages to nutrition and fitness. They tend to have diets, recipes, workouts, and sometimes their own line of products that they promote on their page. The reason that this is possibly harmful for teenage girls is because a lot of influencers are naturally thin and make lead girls to believe that the ways to achieve an ideal body that is constantly portrayed on the internet is by extreme dieting and fitness. Due to the fact that everyone has different bodies, this can lead to unhealthy habits such as highly restricted dieting. On the contrary, health accounts main attempt is to spread healthy tips and routines for people to form healthy habits. So it can actually have positive impacts if approached with the correct mindset. Though this is actually hard for a lot of teenage girls, as at such a young age, all they might be looking for is the ideal body. An interview with a 19-year-old girl was conducted in 2018 on how Instagram contributes to the way people view food. She said, I think that photos influence somehow indirectly as you sit with a bag of chips in front of your smartphone and gain a guilty conscience. This photo of Kylie Jenner's Instagram story is a perfect example as she's drinking a green juice, listing all the health facts, for example, immunity booster or weight loss. But keep in mind, Kylie Jenner has had multiple plastic surgery operations, so her ideal body is unachievable for a lot of people, especially by just drinking a green juice. This may lead teenagers to become frustrated when they don't get the same results as her. A study was done with 15 girls ranging from ages 13 to 19 about how they view food. 
Um, they, a lot of them automatically linked healthy diets with body image, and this has impacted their daily lives. Now, this can be positive if not taken to an extreme. My third and final perspective is the liking and commenting feature on Instagram. This feature gives anyone the freedom to express their opinion from the safety of being anonymous and behind the screen. These two images are good and bad examples of comments that people leave on people's Instagram pages. This feature can be detrimental to teenage girls' self-esteem as cyberbullying is a very common theme on Instagram. An interview by, an a by ABC News was conducted with a group of teenage girls about how they feel when they're on Instagram, and one of them mentioned that people feel as if they have the freedom to comment on every part of a poster's image. This is shown in this second image, which is taken from actress Hick, Sarah Hyland's Instagram. The comments are saying things like, you're so thin like a skeleton, this is disgusting, I'm sorry, too skinny, so shameful. People feel that they are able to comment on her body in a negative way just because she posted a photo on Instagram and they're behind a screen. Now, like and comment feature has, has some positive aspects to it as well. People tend to hype their friends up by saying things like, very nice, love this photo, fantastic. And the, an article from The Atlantic actually shared a story of a girl who met her best friend through the comment section. This is obviously a positive result of the feature. Though positive comments are significantly better for girls' self-esteem, they can actually still be bad as girls tend to become reliant on the validation that they receive from others in the comment section. Multiple writers from Social Work Today commented on this topic by saying, external elements can, be, can to take place of self-confidence. Teenagers don't know themselves well. They don't have much life experience to draw on. This is why comments are so extremely impactful for girl, teenage girls specifically. That's shown in this poll where 25% of teenagers said they feel lonely, 16% say they feel depressed, 12% say they feel anxious. Um, on the other hand, 18% say they feel better about themselves, 20% say they feel confident, 21% feel popular. This shows that there's definitely some positive aspects, but the negatives seem to outweigh it a little bit. The pressure to meet social standards as a teenager is inevitable, although there are definitely ways to improve it. One of these solutions is the abolishment of being able to see the likes that you receive on an Instagram post, which Instagram actually attempted to do in November of 2019. This was a step in the right direction, though many factors such as Photoshop, comments, and influencers are still present on the app. So, in conclusion, there are both positive and negative sides to Instagram, though in terms of self-esteem in young girls, the negatives definitely seem to outweigh these positives. Thank you.